Fired up LULAC members are accusing Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton of using voter intimidation for political gain in a series of recent raids on Democrats. Paxton says he's holding up the integrity of elections. Today, LULAC made themselves heard outside of Paxton's office here in San Antonio. As Courtney Friedman explains, LULAC sees this as a threat, and they're now asking the federal government to get involved. They searched everything in my house. Longtime LULAC member, 87-year-old Lydia Martinez, got back home Monday from the hospital after a bout of COVID. Early Tuesday morning, she woke up to nine armed officers at her door sent by Texas Attorney General Paxton's office. As a 35-year member of LULAC, she helps register Latino voters, giving blank forms mainly to seniors and veterans. If their voter registration is expired, some of them are in wheelchairs. She said the officers asked if she ever filled out the forms or kept them. I said, no, sir, I do not. They questioned me for three hours. LULAC leadership held a press conference showing a line of elderly women whose homes were also searched, phones, computers and papers taken. The warrants were legal, granted by a judge after Paxton's two-year election integrity investigation into Frio, Atascosa and Bear counties for alleged election fraud and vote harvesting during the 2022 elections. In a statement Wednesday, Paxton said, quote, we are completely committed to protecting the security of the ballot box and the integrity of every legal vote. The raids come on the heels of Election Day, where Democrat Cecilia Castellano is running for House District 80, a tight race against former Uvalde mayor Don McLaughlin. Castellano's home was also raided Tuesday. We are literally 70 days away from Election Day. Do not get distracted. In response, McLaughlin released a statement today saying Castellano, quote, has immediately resorted to playing political games, pointing fingers and shifting blame. We're going to file a formal complaint. We're asking the Department of Justice to step in. LULAC's Texas director, Gabriel Rosales, said the complaint claims oppression of minority voters. They're trying to stop us from registering voters. LULAC says other civil rights organizations plan to join them in this fight. As for Attorney General Ken Paxton, we have reached out for comment twice about this call to involve the Department of Justice, but we have not heard back yet. In the newsroom, Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.